Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, a quick uh, evening update. We're just going to run down the Bitcoins real quick. We're going to start off with the XRP. If we look at the 30 minute time frame, or let's zoom out to the three hour time frame, you can see today we were looking at, uh, we already strolled through there. So we'll put this on the lower resistance down there. Oh, we got all kinds of ones of these. Get some of these off. They're all clusters in one area. But we're looking at right now, after it, come on, after it topped out right here at that $1.31, we were looking to see if it would back test into the moving averages, maybe come into this green zone, right? Because that's a major traded area that's major underneath support. Or is it going to just kind of flatten out onto the moving averages and trade into this critical green ring that could also force it down, right? We're keeping an eye on this for you like we have been all week, all day as we're at a double top right now. And we're trying to see if this can't get up to that $1.39. Or like eventually, like I do believe, you're gonna end up way down there, right to that underneath target eventually, but it's a work in progress. We got 30, we got 22% there on that flush to 92 cents, which that was our first target down from there. And then we were anticipating a retrace, but we were forecasting it to come up to about the dollar ten, and then we would watch it. And we thought the probabilities, which they were, that it would get rejected from there, but it took the seldom less traveled road and broke out to the upside now. But the volume still hasn't been all that impressive. So I'm still thinking, if you've been watching these videos, my beautiful audience that does not seem to want to subscribe, but listen, please subscribe, support channel, right? I think we're going to test this 200 day, then you could get supported and pop up into here. But I think if we came up here, that's as high as you're going because that green rings there, right? And then the underneath support is this critical uh, green box down here. That's the volume indicator where the most volume has been traded between $106 and $114. And if you slip below that green box, uh, you can fall down very fast back down to this. 92 cents very quickly because you don't have any more support. That's your major support in that green box. That's why we have it. We'll delete that now because we don't need it. That's why we have that green box there because it's major underneath support. So that's what you got to watch out for. Area one is the green ring that we have circled over here, right? What happens when you interact with that? Do you get rejected or do you blow by? I suspect a rejection. And then underneath support at a dollar eight, those are your immediate areas, 139 overhead and 108 underneath the support and resistance, right? Super simple and easy. And then if we go and look at the Doge real quick, actually not the Doge, nobody seems to care about the Doge. We'll go look at the uh, XDC people seem to like. You can see the last time we talked about the XDC, we were way out in here on that overshoot and we thought we were gonna come back down and retest and we did. And then we were sort of in a descending overhead resistance uh, with 12 cents as your overhead uh, resistance, major overhead resistance, but we broke down, got below the 200 day moving average, which is bearish. We had this back here because we thought when the price was back up here and falling, we thought we could come to the 200 day we did come to the 200 day just a few days later. So another phenomenal call by Vincenzo on his coin that we haven't talked about in a while, but we were calling for the 200 day to touch up in there and it did make it. It just took a little bit longer, but we have now hit that 200 day and we're trying to hold it now as support, which we failed and now we're underneath it, which is bearish as both of these 50 and red and 100 and blue start to trend down. This may start to act as overhead resistance and that next target now after uh, the initial breakdown at 0.0578, it might be to where we're coming next. If we can't get some kind of support off this, we might be forced down to that secondary target. Now, after we met our first target at the 200 day, this was the next one we were watching out for the last time we talked about this coin, but it's been quite some time. So it's nice to see things progressing the way we thought they were after we diagnosed, sniffed out, detected, and overted and subverted the criminal gangster cartel and the market manipulation there. We were showing you how you could get topped out up there and then how you would trace back down and it worked out beautifully congratulations to everybody that profited off the pump and that profited off the dump right so that's what you're looking for now you have your major overhead resistance is the 200 day moving average if you can't get above that but if you do if you start to pop up 
this is where you're going to have major overhead sell pressure and then if you get rejected this is where you could have some buyers in there in between the last line of defense to the shit house aka get my shit together zone and the shit house at about uh, 0.057 cents i would suspect there to be if you flush down to there next i would suspect there to be buyers there so those are your two things to watch out overhead resistance 12 cents underneath support where buyers may be on a flush 0.057 cents and then you could play that back up from a potential flush to overhead resistance which would be there right you would if it flushed you would drag this out into the future right and then on the way back up right here this would be your overhead resistance, but that would be a 60% gain if we flush to there, right? So watch to here, overhead resistance, watch to here where buyers could be, right? XDC, like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. We have an exciting day tomorrow planned for you. Peace and love, peace and love.